This is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 43 of the Orc Gunwagon tutorial. Alright, uh, let's start here by selecting these vert vertices, dragging them over, select these, drag them over, drag these over, drag these over, these, these, and Okay, next let's work on this side, so drag those over, drag those, and those, then drag those over there. These ones just line up with it. Drag those ones over. Drag those. And lastly, drag these. Okay. Which basically blocks out the entire thing there, so. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, um. Hmm. Let's build, uh, select this edge, all these edges, and that edge, connect, zero slide, two, and pinch it outward a bit, a bit more, okay. And then we're going to want to uh, cut right here, or not, hmm. okay, try to cut again. This is not going to cooperate. So get rid of that. Let's do it by hand. Uh, get a box. Okay. Um, use auto grid on the top view. Press F3 and then F4. And make a box. Perspective. Align it. Uh, Alright, don't align it. Um, go to the front view. And then just scoot that over. Okay. Perspective. Increase the width a bit. Uh, increase the height a bit as well. It's a pretty thick piece. Uh, convert to editable poly. Oops, editable poly. Polygon. Using the local. Move it up. Okay. And. Bring this forward. Hinge from edge to hinge, right there. Go into the left hand view and just bring it straight down, so 74, and give it seven segments. It's okay. Perspective and extrude it down. Uh, okay. Next, we're going to want 
to select uh, all these top polygons here. And don't select the bottom ones. Inset them about maybe 3.37. Then bevel and the local normal. I want to go in a bit. Should make that gray so you can see. So go in, bring it out. Okay. Extrude on the local normal. Want to go in again. A little bit more, so negative 0.7. And bevel one last time. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to want to build a cylinder right here. Build a cylinder and bring it across. Uh, I'm going to say about there, it looks pretty good. Okay, center it up, give it uh, 20 sides. Convert to editable poly, polygon, select this thing, and then select this edge, and you're going to want to chamfer them. Okay, polygon, inset, about that much, and then you're going to want to extrude inward a bit. Okay, and give it a small bevel in there. Actually, just like the uh, edges and chamber. Okay. That's done with. Uh, select these polygons in here. Inset. And you're going to want to inset about that much. Okay. Bevel. Local normal. And you're going to want to make it kind of smaller and bring it out. Okay. And we're going to want to copy this over here, bring it down, out, and scale it down because this is supposed to be a smaller section. Okay, and just sink it right in. Alright, that looks pretty good. Next, select this polygon, inset, inset it about one, shrink it this way, bevel it upward a bit. Okay. Inset it a tiny bit. Okay, and then bevel it downwards, so negative 0.19. Okay, and then extrude back a bit and bevel one last time. Okay. Um, yeah. Next. Let's select this piece, which we of course can't see. So select that piece, uh, polygon, select these oops, these polygons right here, and extrude as a group. Just extrude them out like that. Okay, and scale them, actually you don't even have to scale them, just move them straight down. Okay, there we go. Actually, I'm just pull it out a bit more. Okay, that'll be it for part uh, 43. I'll see you in part 44.